Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a text flicker animation inside of Resolve. And we're also going to be creating a macro. So let me just show you the macro. I have already created one. I have called it text flicker. So you can just drag that in. We have some controls over here, such as you can change the text and control the speed of the flicker and the intensity and everything with these sliders right inside the edit page. So I have made this video previously, but it used a keyframing. In this one, we are not going to use any keyframes. So we're going to use Fusion's built-in modifiers to create text flickering effect. All right, so let's get going. Drag in a Fusion composition and just create a new one. I'm going to start off by dragging in a text plus node and you can just view this. It's completely blank. I'm going to type in my text and let's just make adjustments to our text. I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to also right click in the viewer over here and go to options and disable checker underlay so we can see this a bit more clearly. Let's just connect this with media out. And now you just have to right click in the text box over here and click on follower. Go up to modifiers. At the top you have modifiers over here and here we can change the delay amount. So let's just uh, set this to 2 for now. And then in the shading tab click on that. We are going to right click on opacity and click on modify width select perturb and now at the top you can see we have another modify over here called perturb let's just zoom out and you can see that we have some animation going on but uh, let's make it a bit more noticeable we can just increase the strength and the speed and you can see that we have this text flickering animation so that's pretty much it that's how we can create this text flicker animation but now let's just create a macro out of it so i'm going to right click in the text plus node go up to macro and uh, i'm going to create a macro i have already created one but i'm going to create a new one just click on create macro you can just call it whatever you want and uh, once you rename it then you just go to your let's just stop this animation so i'm going to select text one over here minimize this image over here and in the text section i'm going to select up to size over here so i'm going to click on size and from the top i'm going to just select all of these settings so basically if you just go to your tools at the top uh, then you can just see all of these uh, settings inside the tools panel as well so you can see the style text right over here uh, this corresponds to your text box and the next we have font you can see it is tabled font over here which is set to open sans then we have style which is the font weight and we have color which is this color picker over here and then uh, these are the red green blue and alpha channel and then finally we have a size over here so i have selected these tools in the macro up to size uh, you can select tracking and all of these as well but i don't think that is needed for this macro but you are free to choose uh, if you want to add these to your macro i'm just going to untick this or uncheck this next we have layout panel in the layout you can change the size and the positioning but i think that is not required i can uh, do the adjustments using the edit page itself edit page has uh, the settings for changing the size and the position so i'm just going to use that so i'm going to skip layout but of course you can choose it if you want to do so then we have transform i'm going to skip that shading skip that as well next one is follower one so if i just go to modifiers and we have follower one and we have all of these settings over here. So I'm going to start with the this very first page, which is timing. And we have the timing over here as well. This section under follower one called timing. So as you can see, uh, we have the first value is range. And in the follower one, we also have range over here. I don't think we need these three, the first three. I think we only need, need the delay. And that's what I did in my previous macro as well. So I just selected the last one which is delay so i can control the amount of delay that i want if you want any value by default you can just specify it over here so by default uh, the delay will be set to two uh, so if you want this to be zero you can just type in zero over here uh, but i think i'm gonna set this to two next one is the text page uh, this is this page over here i don't think we need any of these settings uh, we don't want transform and shading as well so let's just skip those as well uh, next one is perturb so let's just go to our perturb modify over here we need these three strength wobble and speed so that we can control it right inside the edit page 
so select strength wobble and speed you can also rename it can rename the labels uh, but let's just keep it keep the default values and here we also have uh, the minimum value the maximum value the first box over here is going to be your default value which will be in the edit page so i think these are pretty okay you can just set the round values if you want to do so that's completely fine so let's just uh, go to file and click on save as and now uh, you will save it in the macros first so just make sure you name it correctly uh, i have uh, already done that you can see my previous macro over here text flicker i can also show you my explorer in the windows explorer over here i have this macro called text flicker and then what i did was i copied this right click click on copy and then i went to fusion and then in the template section we have the edit folder and then i didn't have this titles folder so i created the titles folder double click on it and then i pasted the text flicker macro over there if your titles folder is already there then you don't have to create the folder just paste simply paste it inside the titles folder and once you paste it then you can just uh, pretty much close out of this close it and i'm not going to save this uh, let's go to the edit page cool thing is you don't have to restart fusion anymore i was able to find this macro without restarting so i just went to my titles here and typed in text and scrolled down and you have the text flicker macro here just drag that onto the edit page and you will have all of these controls uh, right inside the inspector over here as i said we have the settings page over here i can still change the zoom amount the position the rotation and all that stuff so that's why i kept this macro really simple with minimal controls but yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one